This is TNT Sports Podcast. QT Ski, LK. Let's go. TNT, we back. Logging in to see that. Wins and losses, crazy crosses, holding one. Talking golf and rolling one. Got me coughing every weekend, so it's often. And I'm dropping every week. Name the topic we can speak. From the Rockets to the Heat. Well, the Rockets to the net. Slick, weird, big beard. On my James Harden flex. No one came as hard as this. Watch me Shannon sharpen it. I depart like marking this. TNT, that's a T with a hyphen. ENT, if you're typing, seeing me, that's a like this. C-O-T, shout my bikers, and we do it just like Max is like I'm Steven A. Right Tag me in your subject. Tag TikTok, me. Facebook, Gram, or Twitter page. Everywhere. Tell me who you love it. Big discussions for you, sport or house. Jackie Moon Tropics. What they like Oakland straight 30 by Tommy Brady pockets. Who had drunk up in the party? Toss Lombardi, get it started. Mike Mardi Gras Mike can't be guarded. My new spicy like New Orleans weather. Yeah. Local national form, we get it. Working yeah, overtime, cafe, do mine with the coverage. I'm on you at no the line. No one came as hard as this. Watch me Shannon sharpen it. I depart like marking this. TNT, we back. Logging in to see that. Wins and losses, crazy crosses, holding one. Talking golf and rolling one. Got me coughing every weekend, so it's often. And I'm dropping every week. Lame the top and we can speak. Good morning, this is TNT Sports Podcast, episode number 86, and this morning I have Checkmate Sports owner and CEO, Edward Davis, man. Edward, thanks for taking time to be on my show, man. Hey, man, appreciate you you bringing me on, and, and, and I love the intro, man. I love the music. Oh, man, you already know. Now, if you didn't know, man, can you tell them who your dad is, man? They didn't know? Uh, for those of, you know, people who may not know, my pops was, uh, is uh, Big Duke for Boys in the Hood, so this is their... Um, the, the, the first single that they dropped, them boys that came out, I think was it was 05, 06? Yeah. So it's a, uh, it's a classic, but man, whenever you hear that, it's a nitty beat, you know, so you already know what's up. What's about to happen next? Yes, sir, man. Like that was a dope group, man. So that was when I found your dad with Big Duke, man. I was like, damn, I gotta, I gotta um, highlight him, man. And then your sports agent as well. So I was like, man, that's a, that's gonna be a dope interview right there. But yeah, man. So can you tell my people a little bit about yourself, Edward, man? Oh yeah. So I'm an NFL sports agent with Chipmate Sports. Uh, was founded in 2018. Got licensed in 2019. And uh, we've been off and running ever since. Uh, we got two guys into the league, Travis Reed and uh, Christian Angelo. And we, uh, that Christian went to the New York Giants. Um, Travis went to the Indianapolis Colts. And we, we've been uh, off and running ever since. Cool, man. So how did it all start, man, with your pops being a rapper? And, you know, you probably, you grew up in the Atlanta area, obviously, man. Did you ever try rapping or anything like that? What led you to being a sports agent? Um, I mean, of course, Pops tried to get me to rap when I was young, but pretty so pretty quickly we realized that I didn't have that talent. <laughs> so I, I, I thought I was going to do other things as far as like work in a backseat, produce, like be to be an A and R, something like that. But just learned real early that you know the music industry wasn't aligned with what I wanted to do uh, personally. Like you know to get to the get to that level that you know people want to go for it. You have to do certain things, and I, I wasn't sure if I'd be comfortable doing those things. So um, the next route was was sports, and that was you know what I felt like you know what I was passionate about, and I had the skill set to excel in it. So um, I started playing football, and um, ended up going to Virginia State University, got my degree up there in health and physical education. Graduated. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't make it to the league, yeah. so I, I wanted to stay close to the game. So I went down the agent route, went in. Uh, Got my master's from Georgia State University, and um, you know, been been off and running ever since. Cool, man. So, what's that process like, man? With being a sports agent, like, do you go after the talent, or does the talent look for you? Like, how does that work, or do it work both ways? I works both ways. You know, in the beginning, before people know you, you know, of course, you're going to be going 
um, after the talent, but after you establish yourself as a legitimate agent, and people see what you can do, you know, they, they will reach out. Um, but as an agent, you're always going to want some of the top talent. So you're going to, you know, constantly be going after players and, and, and you know, uh, guys who are looking for agents are going to be going after you. Okay, that's cool, man. And um, like, what's like, what's your goal as far as being a sports agent? Like, what's like, what? Who do you look up to? Look up to as a sports agent, like Rich Paul or anybody like that? Uh, you know, man, I, I look up to all the, you know, the, the pioneers in space. You know, the Rich Paul, the Eugene Parkers, um, even some of the lesser known agents, the Derek Gilmore's and guys like that. Um, and I look up to, you know, uh, Lee Steinberg and. And Scott Boris, just agents in general. Uh, but my goal, honestly, is more so, uh, as, you know, when I first got into the agent space, I wanted to be the number one agent, of course. Yeah. Um, but as I've gotten into the space and I started to realize that there's not really a, 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 a greeting ground for agents, there's really no education in space for it. Um, so that is my goal to be the number one um, agent um, education. Um, place to go for agents you know because there's college doesn't teach it agents don't want to tell you there's no real place for you to learn the business except for just you know the school of hard knocks and that's really really expensive right. um if you're just trying to wing it um so you know I, I just want to create that place and that's why we created the sports agent master class and that is a program where people who want to become agents they can go to a certification program and they can become agents. And the cool thing about that is, um, you don't have to have a, a law degree. You don't uh, even have that. Even have that. You don't even have to have a college degree um, to become an agent. With the new law that's passed um, July first, two thousand twenty, that allowed. Um, so I'm sorry, two thousand twenty one, that allows student athletes to get paid off their name, image, and likeness, yeah. and now allows agents to bypass the old way to do it. And uh, going through our, our certification program. You know, we help people to do that. That's cool, man. Like I said, like I said earlier, he's the owner of Checkmate Sports, man, sports agency, man. How did that come about? Well, like I said, I just wanted to become an agent. Um, it's really difficult to get an internship or to get a position as an agent. So either you're going to, you know, give up and, you know, work a nine to five or you're going to figure out a way to start your own agency. And right. that's what I did. Um, it was uh, very difficult to do it on my own. Uh, if I could do it all over again, I probably would have tried harder trying to get in with another agency just to 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 make the learning curve quicker. But um, you know, we ended up building Checkmate Sports from the ground up, and uh, we've been building a lot of momentum ever since. Yeah, and also I'm looking at your page. You got merch too, so y'all definitely check out his page and get some merch, man. Because I'm looking at some. Shirts that you got with your dope, man. So definitely check out his page and get some merch. Uh, I saw you at on Big Facts, man, with Big Bank and DJ Scream, man. What was that experience like? Oh, I was good, man. Hanging out with those guys. Um, you know, I'm, I'm familiar with the, 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 the music industry, so I've been, you know, around people like that since a young age. So it wasn't nothing new to me, but just to get around them and, and, and see the, you know, <laughs> the good energy. Um, they have good, good chemistry on on here. And uh, it was just cool to be, you know, amongst them and to be in the in the same presence of, you know, places where, you know, Birdman and Kareem Reed, uh, I mean, Kasim Reed and, 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 and guys that I look up to were, you know, on that show. So uh, it's pretty cool to be there and, 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 you know, have my name amongst the other uh, people that's there. Okay. And how, like, how does your pops feel about you doing sports agents like do he love the you know or do he how, how do do he like that or is he supportive or yeah he loves the idea he supports it he's happy for me um he's happy that i was able to find uh my, my own my own place my my own trail and uh he's been 100 percent supporting me ever since okay that's cool man and i saw you just got married man so congrats on that man Oh, yeah, 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 my wife literally just walked in the door not too long ago, so, That's dope. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we, uh, you know, five years in, just wanted to, you know, get it together, and, uh, we got married last year in September, and, um, and, you know, we're taking it one day at a time, but so far, so good. That's dope, man, I just celebrated my one-year anniversary, man, on Sunday, I was in the A-Town, actually, I was in the Nana, so we celebrated oh, that. Oh, congratulations. So, appreciate it, appreciate it, man. Uh, what's next for you, man? Like, uh, what's next for Checkmate Sports and you? 
Well, for us, honestly, uh, we just want to get us a draft pick this year. Draft, that's one of our big goals. Uh, get us a draft pick. Then we want to, um, you know, just continue to grow and, 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 and refine our brand um, as a company and just, you know, continue to to, to, to lead, the, lead the way. Okay. And... Do you like? Do you manage? Are you an agent for all sports, or is there like a particular sport you focus on, like football? Like? Uh, I, I, we do all sports, but football is probably the one I'm most passionate about. So mm-hmm. that's the one I, I focus on. But I love basketball. I love baseball. Um, definitely want to get into that arena a little bit more as well. Definitely, definitely, man. And do you have any basketball players yet? Um, yes, we do have some basketball players um, with our, in our company, um, so we, we, we're we happy about that, some guys uh, for NIL. Okay, and um, as far as the music industry, what you grew up in, like, do you are you in contact with any of the artists that your dad worked with, or anybody just in general, or? Um, I would do, you know, uh, we, some of these guys that I grew up with since I was a kid, so we always will have that. That, uh, that bond and that relationship with, you know, guys like Jagged Edge, and, you know, a lot of people from that So So Deaf camp, because my dad was signed to So So Deaf uh, yeah. before he went to Bad Boy. Um, so, you know, a lot of those were guys were there, I were around when I was little. Um, but then I had guys that, you know, uh, that came out when I was a little bit older in my generation uh, that, that I'm familiar with. So, uh, I was going to have those relationships. I just really, um, you know, we don't talk every day. You know, you just get grown. You yeah, know, yeah. Life happens. Right. Uh, but if I ever need it, then I'm sure I can reach out. And, 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 and likewise, they need me. I'm, I'm here for them as well. Gotcha. And what would you tell like, anybody that's trying to get into that field that you're in as far as a sports agent? Like, what would you tell them um, the process or what steps did you take that you can pass on knowledge to them? What would you tell them? Uh, I think the first thing is for them to realize that this business is it's uh it's expensive right you know this isn't where you go you know because you're strapped for cash you want to become an agent you become an agent after you become successful in something first and then you just want to pivot into doing something you're passionate about yeah. now if you're a doctor lawyer entrepreneur crypto investor you know construction worker a truck driver, somebody that has decent income, but you're you're not really happy with your job. You say, you know what, I, I should be doing more, or, or I could be doing more. If that's you, then I would recommend becoming a sports agent. And if that's the that's the case, they can uh, go to sportsagentmasterclass.com okay. dash opt in, and that that website right there will will show them everything that they need to become an agent. Yeah, and you said with Checkmate Sports, your your situation, y'all can certify people. Yes. Okay. So it's not it's not where you got to be a lawyer or nothing like that no more. So you, they can go through you or whatever. So that's dope. That's dope, man. And how you feel about the athletes getting paid now, man? Wait. I think it's amazing. I think it's about time. You know, everybody else was getting paid. Right. These uh these uh coaches making a hundred million dollar <laughs> right. paydays. Uh, Athletes should be able to get, you know, some type of compensation. So I'm happy for them. I just wish it would have happened a little bit sooner. Yeah. Um, but, you know, better late than never. True. Yeah, I wish it happened a little earlier, too, because there's, like, a lot of guys that, you know, they could have they could have worked out for per- perfectly, man. And, uh, like, Deion Sanders, man, his kids, they getting big endorsements. So it's, that's dope, man. I'm happy for everybody that's getting in that situation, man. And what you think about uh, Deion Sanders and his little situation in Jackson State? I think it's amazing. I'm glad that he actually, you know, went down there. He turned the program around there in the Celebration Bowl this year. I think it went 11 and one. Um, he's coaching his son. His son's doing really good. Um, I think that he, you know, he, he's being the change that he wants to see. A lot of people always say they want change, but then you know, invest in other communities and send their kids to other schools. But Dion, you know, went to his kids go to the school. And he's coaching at the school, yeah. and that's the, that school's at HBCU. So I think it's a uh, pretty cool. Yeah, and his daughter trying to go there for basketball too. So that's that's pretty dope. She's pretty decent too. Like she's pretty right. good. Uh, and going back to crypto, man, I know you big on crypto. Cause I see you post on your page and stuff like that. What you think about the Staples Center changing their name with crypto? 
Wow, I think it's a game changer. I think, you know, literally, like, people are seeing the, the, the new era, era again and the crypto.com arena. Um, it, it's going to take some getting used to saying, but as a, a, as a you know, crypto investor and believer in crypto and, and uh, the crypto.com app and coin, I think that uh, it, it's going to the moon, as they say. And it looks like a five to ten dollar uh, coin, you know, right now. And the, the coin is is right now sixty three cents. Yeah. So when I say going to the moon, I feel like this card is going to go. I mean, this coin is going to go up to five to ten dollars once it gets on top of the you know the old stable arena and they announce it to the world. So I'm excited about crypto. I think it's the future, and I think that you know people have to. Uh, brace themselves for it and get familiar with it so that when the money start rolling in that they, they can be able to take advantage of it for sure for sure man and i'm gonna play a little game with you man um i'm gonna name five to ten just names and what's the first thing coming to your mind just say it so okay so i'm gonna say kobe Bryant. black mamba <laughs> okay uh young jesus Trap or die. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Russell Wilson. Preparation. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, Atlanta Falcons. Let down. <laughs> All right. Trey Young. Special. Special. Okay. Uh, let's say Migos. You said who? Migos. Quay Um, Solid. Solid. Uh, Deion Sanders. Goat. All right. LeBron James. Uh, not better than Jordan. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see who else. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Tom Brady. Here. Okay. Uh, Cam Newton. Underachiever. <laughs> and Nick Saban. The GOAT. Go. And we'll do two more. We'll do two more. Uh, coach O at LSU. Former LSU coach. Lucky. Lucky. All right. And then we'll go do uh, Ludacris. Underrated. Right. All right. Cool, man. Man, yeah, man, that's all I got, man. I appreciate you for taking time, man. Can you tell me? Hey, no doubt, man. I appreciate you having me on, man. Let's, let's keep in touch, man. Oh, for sure, Looking man. Forward to, to work with you. Definitely, man. You got my number. I got your number, so we will definitely stay in contact, man. Hey, can you tell my people uh, how they can follow you and reach out to you? And like I told you, that you got merch as well, man. So you got some dope yeah, merch. Yeah, man. So if you want to get in contact with me, you can uh, hit me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, my handle is call my agent underscore. Um, again, call my agent C A L L M Y A G E N T underscore. Uh, also, uh, if you're interested in getting sports agent merchandise, um, become a sports agent in 30 days. Just reach out and give me a call. Okay. All right. No, and then after we just listening, man, y'all need a y'all need an agent, man. Let's hey, y'all try to reach out or something. <laughs> yeah. Right. But, oh, uh, man, you got anything else you want to say, or that's that's all you got? Nah, that's it, man. I look, I look forward to seeing this. Yes, sir. All right. This TNT Sports Podcast, episode number 86. Good morning.